The cooking class is about how to make a pizza. Yes? So, and everyone knows that pizza is a typical Italian product. Yes? And uh, the origin of the most common pizza, they come from ancient times. Yes? And the most common pizza is the pizza margherita. But do you know why it is called pizza margherita? Yes? As you can see, yes, it's an Italian product and in 1887, in Naples, the Queen of Savoy, the Queen Margherita of Savoy, decided to have a round and to go to Naples. And what happened in Naples? The Queen Margherita tried different kind of pizza and her favorite pizza was one pizza with three ingredients. A pizza evocating the three colors of the Italian flag. Green, white and red. The ingredients of the pizza were basil, mozzarella and tomato, the three colors of the Italian flag. So in honor of the, the Queen's favorite pizza, this pizza was called Pizza Margherita because of the name of the Queen Margherita. Yes? Yes, pizza margherita. And as you can see, Miguel, the next slide is, yes, the three colors of the Italian flag. This is the origin of pizza margherita, the pizza we are going to prepare today. Yes, so let's check what do we need to prepare our pizza. What tools? Very easy. We need a big bowl to make our mass, our dough. We need teaspoons, the little spoons. Yes, a big spoon, then a fork, yes, a rolling pin, because we need to prepare our own dough, yes, and then a kitchen wrap, also for our dough. And now the ingredients, yes, very easy. The first ingredient, the basic ingredient, flour, yes, then we have brewer's yeast to make the dough grow, yes, brewer yeast. Yes. yes. Then we have salt, sugar, yes, and then next sugar, olive oil. Very important. Extra olive oil. Yes. Okay. And then for the sauce, instead, as we are going to prepare pizza margherita for the sauce, what do we need? Tomato sauce, mozzarella. Yes. Here we have tomato sauce. Here we have our Italian mozzarella, be very careful, and even better if mozzarella is di bufala, which means a very prestigious kind of mozzarella, yes? And then some spices, basil and oregano, yes, that I have here, condimento per pizza, yes? And now we are ready to prepare our pizza. Thank you very much. First action, what do we do? We need to pour to pour our yeast, yes, this is the yeast, the rubber yeast, yes, half of the quantity into warm water, yes, not hot, not cold, warm, yes, we put it down, yes, and then we mix it, yes, because the brewer yeast is sleeping, so we need a reaction, yes, of the yeast to make the mass growing, yes. Then we mix it a bit and we add the sugar. It's not. Yes, we take the sugar. Yes, we take one spoon of sugar. Yes, and we mix all together. The sugar makes the yeast working. Yes, otherwise the pizza would be very thin. And now, this is ready. Second action, yes? We put the flour into the bowl and make a hole in the middle, yes? So we take our beautiful flour, yes? We put it here and we try to create with our beautiful ends, we can also use just one hand, yes? We create a hole in the middle, as you can see, yes? It's very important. Next action, yes? We salt, we put our salt, one spoon, yes, we salt it, then we put 
olive oil, 5 spoons, yes, it's very important that the oil is very good, maybe from our parents or extra virgin olive oil, yes, 4, yes, it's enough. Now, very good. Now, what's the next thing? All together, yes, step by step into the hole, yes? We have to create such thing, yes? So we pour it step by step, yes? And we try to, to mix it, yes? We start to elaborate with our hands the mass, yes? And, yes, we try already, yes, to mix. This is the most funny thing about pizza, eh? that you can elaborate your own master, that's very fun, yes? So very important and very easy. We first use the yeast, then we put the sugar, the yeast, grow in the massa, yes? Flour, flour, white, flour, yes. Can you please uh, put a bit here? Because you see that the mass, more, 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 more. Yes, okay, that's enough. Then we start to elaborate, yes? More, more, I need more. I think we put too much water now. But this is the nice thing of being online. Yes, today we are direct TV, a lovely TV show. How to make pizza, that's a bit complicated, but we are going to manage it. Because now I think I'm getting stuck with my head. Very good. It's to create this beautiful bowl, yes? Do you think that we can manage it? Of course we can, I think so. Yes? <laughs> I think it's very hard. Maybe we need more. I don't know. Yes, okay. Ay, it's complicated, eh? Maybe we put too much water. But we need to put all the ingredients together. Now, for example. And now it's getting, it's getting good, yes? The mass is starting a bit more, a bit more. Because I think we put bandages. Okay, so our baby pizza margarita is already done. Yes, maybe. I think I put something with the mass. I did something wrong. You see, the mass is getting very well. Yes? What do you think, Miguel? Does it look the same or less? More or less, no? More or less. Less than more, but I think it's okay. Yes. And now, as you can see, Miguel, if you want, now we compose the bowl. Yes, that's a, the mass bowl. We pour a bit of flour. Yes, just that's it. And then you can pass around to show the ball to your friends. Yes, this is how the dough, if yes, you can show it to the public here, this is how the dough should work. Welcome back. Now, once the dough is ready, yes, we use our kitchen wrap. Yes, we have to cover the mass. Yes, thank you. Uh, we have to cover the mass. Yes, with a kitchen wrap, and we leave it for two, three hours, or if you want, for one day. Yes, you leave it in a very warm place, not in the, not in the fridge, not out of the window, just in your kitchen. Yes, so we leave it here, and then we wait two hours now. No, we already prepared our dough of pizza. Yes. There you go. Here we have our layer, layer of pizza. Yes, a bit small. But, yes, once you have the bowl, you have to use this, our magic friends, the rolling pin. Yes. And we are going to make this kind of layer. Yes. So what we are going to do is to make the layer of pizza very thin and round, of course. You can make a square. Whatever you want. And then we are going to use the rolling pin. Making force with your arms, yes? And to make the shape of the pizza. Yes? Very good. 
to re-elaborate a bit our pizza. Yes, like this, more or less. And then we put it back here. Yes. Then we use with a fork, we make holes to the door. Yes, because then it grows. Yes, so you make holes in the door. Then the first ingredient that we put is tomato sauce. Yes. So we put our tomato sauce, yes, we use our tomato sauce, do you remember the pizza margherita is called like this because in honor of the Queen Margherita of Savoy, because her favorite pizza was a pizza with the three colors of the Italian flag, basil, mozzarella and tomato. So the next ingredient would be mozzarella, yes? Italian mozzarella or better mozzarella di bufala. We are going to cut our mozzarella, yes? Very good. This is a lot of mozzarella, maybe too much, but for us, yes, that's okay. Next ingredients, yes, ingredients for pizza margherita. Yes, and then an O of olive oil. A O. My mom called it a small O. Yes, of, of oil. Then our pizza margherita is ready to cook in the oven at more or less 200 degrees for 15 minutes. Yes. And now I need two volunteers, yes, to go to the kitchen and to ask uh, uh, Rosa, yes, the cook, to put it into the oven. Yes, so uh, Elia, yes, the, the pizza class for today, the pizza show is finished and just we need to wait 15-20 minutes to eat our pizza margherita. Yes, I hope you enjoy the show. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow for the next cooking class. Thank you. But uh, do we need do we need a uh, yes. <laughs> How to make pizza is just uh, the trying and taste and enjoy our homemade pizza. Yes.